I made it to the parking lot up by my remote cabin and I'm all packed up. I'm ready to head out. And I just want to say thanks to Rebecca Touch by Yarn for knitting me this nice hat. It's nice and warm. It's a cold day today, so it's coming in handy. Gonna keep my head warm on the way out to my remote cabin. Sometimes people leave their wheelers hidden in the woods. That way they don't have to transport them back and forth when they go from their cabin back to home or whatever. Wow, is this a mess in here. Look at all these down trees. <sighs> the trail goes right in through there, right up around there. There's no way I could have done that with the uh, wheeler this uh, spring when I came out Even that trees down blocking this trail coming in Another tree down right there just missed this trail. That's good. ground is pretty frozen this is real soft swampy land in through here as you can see with the puddles and everything but everything's frozen up good Mount Denali, right over there. Tallest mountain in North America. Just a little bit of a cloud at the very peak of it. I forget the exact stat, but something like 70% of the tourists that come to Alaska never see Denali because it's clouded in. And look at it, it's just right there. And the cloud is getting blown off the peak, so we'll be able to see the uh, peak maybe by the time we get to the cabin. Uh, baby moose track right there and there's a big moose track right here right there right there walked out that direction I think yep so a little baby moose track right there Well, that's it. 
ice is over an inch thick already. Definitely can ride a wheeler over that ice. No problems there. This little stream here is not frozen yet, it's still flowing. That stream and this one right here we're about to cross and another one just over, they're all from springs. These two come up out of the ground right here at this little hillside. See this one's still frozen but it's getting covered over with ice, but it's still flowing. That building everyone calls the outhouse. I don't think it's technically an outhouse, but it's been here forever. And no one really knows what it was for. This little stream comes out of a pond we're gonna be walking past. And the pond is fed by a spring up on my property.
more moose tracks right through here. That stream's fed by that pond right over there. We have to go way up in those trees far away is my cabin. In the summertime, I can't ride out through this way because these water puddles, it's just mud down. It can swallow a whole wheeler with no problem. And that's why I have to skirt around, go do a lot of zigzagging and stuff like that. This is my track and sometime in the last uh, countless times I've come out. This is the second time I've been out to the cabin since the snow melted. That first time took me over an hour to get out on the wheeler clothes of all the down trees. So my property line goes right through here, goes over to those four pine trees, those couple sticking up there all by themselves, not the real far away ones, but just a little bit closer. Goes from there down to that little group of pine trees right there, and then makes a straight line up that hill. So we're on my property right now. Here's my little side trail. Oh, that tree finally fell. You remember that tree that was leaning real bad? Well, this one's leaning now, but it's a small one. That big one that was leaning finally fell. It's good to know. I won't be able to go this way until there's 
couple feet of snow on the ground. But I'm glad it's on the ground anyways. First couple trips out, I'll have to come up this way. Ooh, look at how tall these weeds are. They're, they're clear up past my shoulders. The grass definitely grew good this summer. Here's where I wrecked on my snow machine that uh, one time the early trip last fall. I wrecked on my snow machine coming through here because of down trees. We're almost there. Cabin's just right over there. Here's the entrance to my property. My other property corner is that birch, that nice looking birch right over there. There's a stake in the ground right at the trunk. So it goes over there and clear down here, down into that little patch of pines down there in the swamp area. Ooh, I like what I'm seeing. Look at all this grass growing. I've been trying to do this for years. And this year I just didn't have time to get up and mow it. And all the grass just came right up. I am so happy. On our way over, let's take a look at the berry plants. They're all starting to die off, but looking good. A lot of nice uh, shoots and things like that. So looking good. Strawberry plants are dying off. Wow, we got berry plants uh, coming up in the res in the strawberry patch here. That's good. I like seeing that. Here's my nice little wood pile. I need to get this split up this week and this is one of the activities I came up to do. And right over there by my neighbor's cabin, right through the trees is Denali. As you can see, I got a nice fire going. I got my stuff unpacked. Now I'm gonna take a few things out to the truck. Look at how tall this grass is. Some of it comes up past my shoulders. Definitely good uh, bear hiding area, so I gotta keep my eyes open.
I need to come and cut this stump off. That way I don't hit it with a wheeler or something or the snow machine when it gets uh, some snow. Ooh, that wasn't frozen very much. I heard it cracking as I walked on it. I gotta be careful. I don't want to get all soaking wet. There's Denali again. And the, these two, I always get them mixed up. Forkner and Raker or something like that, I believe.
made it back to the parking spot. I'm all bundled up, but you can see the sun right there behind me. That's all the higher it gets and it's pushing five o'clock. So the sun's about ready to set up here in Petersville. So let's get out to the cabin before it gets too dark. Wow, look at Denali now. This is why I like this place so much. Look at those views in the mountains. Just amazing. I've never seen this pink moss. I've only seen this green out here before. Not sure what this pink is. This pond is getting filled in with grasses and stuff. My cabin is up there in the woods. I would not trust going out on it yet. Even though it feels solid. Man, look at that mountain. Beautiful. This pond's getting filled in also, unfortunately. Right here is a stream that goes out of the pond. Goes right through here and right down that way. Wow, look at that majestic mountain. This is why I love this area. My cabin's just right up there in the woods, a couple hundred yards away from this view. Amazing. <laughs> 